In the question number 11, they're talking about two sequences. One is AP, one is GP. They're saying that the second term of this AP is first term of GP. Eighth term is second term of GP. And 44th term of AP is the third term of GP. Yeah. So, uh, second thing they're saying that uh, the common difference is positive and the first term is 1. Okay. So, if we assume that A is the first term of AP, so the second term will be A plus D. Yes, because we know that a n equal to a plus n minus 1 d. So this is the second term of a b. The eighth term similarly will be a plus 70. And 44th term. Yeah. Now, they are the first three terms of geometry progression. That means, if we divide this A8 by A2, we will get R of GP. Yes, because this A8 is actually A2 of GP and this A2 of AP is A1. Similarly, same R will be the third term, which is 44th term of AP divided by the second term of GP. Right? So, let's write the values now. A8. A8 was A plus 7D divided by A2 was A plus D equal to 44th term A plus 43D divided by A plus 7D. Now, since they have already given us that A is 1, the first term of the AP is 1. So, we will substitute 1 and do the cross multiplication of that. 1 plus 7D over 1 plus D equal to 1 plus 43D over 1 plus 7D. Now, if we cross multiply, what do we get? Uh, this will be a square of 1 plus 7D, which will be 1 plus 49D square plus 14D. Now, if we cross multiply this, it will be 1 plus 43D plus D, 44D plus 43D square. So, let's bring everything to the left side. 1 and 1 will already cancel. So 49d square minus 43d square plus 14d minus 44d equal to 0. So 49 minus 43d square will be 6d square and that will be 40 minus 44 minus 30d equal to 0. Let's take D common, 6D minus 30 equal to 0. Now, there are two factors which are equal to 0. That means either D is 0 or 6D minus 30 is 0. They have clearly said, uh, and common sense is also that D can never be 0. And they have said it's a positive number. So, we cannot accept this answer. This will be the one we will proceed with. And that gives us D equal to 30 over 6, which is 5. This is what they wanted us to show. In B part, they are asking us to find the sum of first 20 terms of AB. So we know that A is 1, D is 5, and N is 20 in this case. So we know the formula is SN equal to N over 2. 2a plus n minus 1d. So, we'll just substitute the values. 20 over 2a 
2 2 times 1 plus 20 minus 1 times 5 which is 10 times 2 plus 19 times 5 is 95 that becomes 97 and the sum will be 970 okay B part 1 the previous one was not actually B part it was second part of A right here they saying find the fifth term of GP so A5 of any GP is A R to the power n minus 1 5 minus 1 4 so first we should know what is A and then we should know R and then we we'll find the fifth term so first term of GP was the second term of AP so let's write A for GP now which was 1 plus D D we came to know that it was 5 so 6 so A is 6 for GP we are talking about GP here only right but we are taking help of AP so A2 second term was 1 plus 70 7 times 5 which is 36 so this gives us we already know A and we can find R also R will be A2 divided by A1 which is 36 divided by 6 which is 6 so now we can write the value of A5 will be A which is 6 and R which is also 6 to the power 4 that comes out to be 6 to the power 5 and 7 7 7 6 the last part B second part they are asking explain whether or not the sum to infinity of this GP exists the sum to infinity exists only for the GPs where R is less than 1 and R is less than 1 means uh, if this is the first term second term will be smaller than this and third term will be even smaller and so 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 what happens then when we go to infinity the term is almost non-existent so we can add the one which we can add and it will not uh, ex exceed a specific number but since here the r is six that means if the first term is six second term is six times is 36 and third term becomes even more and it will keep on becoming more so it is not possible to add all those terms that's why it does not exist because r is greater than 1 the terms will be bigger and bigger as n increases so the sum to infinity will be undefined and it does not exist